Good morning, Corvallis. This is Jake McGrady here on Second String Sports 88.7 FM. Grant Van Dyke in Friday the house. Morning, or Friday afternoon, actually. We got a, a big show planned today. NBA playoffs, a little uh, NFL draft predictions, a little uh, crusty Donald Sterling talk. <laughs> And a uh, special guest in the studio. If you want to introduce yourself, give a little uh, little rundown on the. I'm uh, Grano Campo. Uh, known Jake for a while, so uh, should be fun. Big NBA fan, definitely. Hopefully, talk some Blazers. Big game tonight. Oh, yeah. Huge game tonight. Oh yeah. Must win game tonight. You want to tell the uh, listeners if they happen to follow you on your other... <laughs> yeah, if you happen to follow me, at AldridgeMVP on Twitter. Uh, all Wait. Blazers talk. I made that a couple months ago. We got a little uh, local Blazer celebrity in the booth. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So if uh, any of those, uh, any Blazer fans listening, hit him up on that. Uh, if you follow his AldridgeMVP, make sure to follow that. Tweet any Tweet any questions, any NBA things you guys want to discuss on the show. So I think today we're going to... Start off covering a little small topics. I'm sure uh, all of our listeners out there have heard about uh, the big things that have gone down this week. Donald Sterling, Jameis Winston. You guys want to start with some uh, Donald Sterling? Just get that out of the way. Opinions, thoughts, Clippers opinions. He's the lowest scum on this earth. <laughs> <laughs> Would you save him if he was in front of a train crying for help? Eh, I might, I might like to make, make a diving <laughs> attempt to it, but not get there in time. So you'd purposely miss? Maybe. <laughs> purposely miss. <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't know. It's it's obvious. Pretty much everyone, I think, has the same opinion on it. There's not much more that can be said on a... That has already been said, you know. It is what it is, but he has the whole what? He's trying to sue the NBA now. You just want to give yeah. the backstory just in case anybody yeah, doesn't Yeah, any know. backstory. Donald Sterling, own, longest tenured NBA owner in the history. I'm pretty sure... He, on the Clippers for what, like thirty years? Yeah. yeah, around thirty years. Thirty years. He's had a track track record of um, you know, racist comments, some negative, got lots sued. of negative things. discrimination. Yeah, I got sued. Discrimination. In he had, I don't know, didn't he embezzle money from his real estate company? Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. Anyway, it came out that he's eighty. He's got a he's got a wife. You know, a classic eighty year old wife, probably. You know, granny, granny looking like a granny, and then he's got. <laughs> And then he's got a, you know, he's got a little side chick, his side piece. <laughs> little gold digger. 25-year-old, you know, she's half Latina, half African-American. So it kind of doesn't make sense. But at the same time, it does. I don't, it does. Yeah. It all makes sense. <laughs> anyway, she recorded a personal conversation that they had, you know, some things were said that he does not want her to associate with, quote, minorities. Mm-hmm. Uh, he got angry that she took a picture with Magic Johnson at a basketball game and said that he did not want her or any uh, black people coming to his Clipper games. Right. So that got released. That blew up nation nationwide news. You know, the NBA got on it instantly. Adam Silver, the new commissioner, you know, he took instant action about, what, like four days after it happened? Three days? Yeah, three or four days. Yeah. Gave him a lifetime ban, not only from the Clippers, but with any, any relation... Relations with the NBA in general, two point five million dollar fine. Granted, he does have two billion dollars, so that the fine isn't. The fine was the max fine, though. So it was the he max did fine. everything. You know, in people his power. were complaining yeah. about that, but yeah, you, know, you can't find you can't find a billionaire. Yeah, a it's, billion it's like dollars. fifty dollars to the average. Human, yeah, I saw average that. Uh, American. Th that admit, that made me sick. I know. Think of what we could do with two point five mil. Get a Lambo, pay off some school. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Donald Sterling, he's now trying to fight the NBA, suing, saying, you know, and, they're unjust about and it. And fighting cancer, which, you know, just a little karma. You know, a little karma. But, uh... A little... Aww. <laughs> sorry, Donald. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, not sorry. Yeah. You're 80, and you're a terrible person. Anyway, <laughs> that's the opinions on the Donald Sterling thing. Clippers are now, you know, they moved past... Well, they moved past it, you know. They, they got a little bit of closure. It's still... Still uh, looming in the air, but you know they're making it to Game Seven. See if so. they even make it to the second round. Who knows? Uh, yeah, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? We'll leave that for the second uh, second portion of the show. So yeah. if you're a big NBA fan, stay tuned. You're not gonna not gonna want to miss that. Anyway, any last last topics we want to talk about? Side topics. Jameis Winston. Some crabs. Some seafood. <laughs> crabs. You got crabs? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Jameis does. I don't. Jameis, Jameis, Jameis. Famous Fiend, Jameis. Fiendin' for crustaceans, as I said yesterday. <laughs> to, to like, what? Of all seafood products, why do you choose, like, 
crab legs, like the biggest possible, like most obvious. How do you think he did it? Stuff it in his pants? Have, have the legs uh, poking out? I was thinking more of like a backpack, but I don't really know. <laughs> Maybe you just... I have no idea. I think he ate and just didn't pay. I think he kind of did a little oh. dine and dash type thing is what oh, I heard. Oh, that's what it was. I thought I thought it was a whole, like a Whole Foods. James just has a little fanny pack stuffing crab legs. <laughs> 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 Fit some lobster rolls in there. Yeah, dine and dash would make more sense, I guess. That's that's what I thought I heard. Anyway, uh, do you see on, in Alabama they actually are selling Jameis Winston crab legs or whatever it is oh now? My. So yeah, I can picture that. His, I can picture that. Well, it was classic. I thought it was hilarious. SEC rivalry. Do you guys think there. it's really gonna impact him at all? No. Because I mean, people mm, are saying, no. oh, the draft stock. Yeah. First if, the if uh, this keeps happening, if he has a couple more, if he has some more mishaps, definitely and, they're all going to add up eventually. Oh, yeah. But this one thing, I don't think will impact it too much. What did it, his explanation was something like, I went in the, with the intention, <laughs> with good intentions, with, with the with good it. intentions of paying, but made a terrible mistake. So that's like saying he said like, that he had forgot to pay the bill, which is what? pretty hard to do. But yeah. that's like saying it's you BS. know, I went yeah. into the bank. With intentions to withdraw money from the ATM, but shot up every single teller working and stole. Yeah. is on his worst 30, behavior. Thirty thousand dollars. Yeah. <laughs> worst. His worst. <laughs> Jameis is. Yeah. He's still. Regardless, he's still gonna. Uh, yeah. I don't, he's gonna I don't, end up like a Johnny Manziel figure, you know? Kind of like controversial, bad boy? hated. Bad boy think? Jameis. We'll Possibly. See it, we'll see this next year. I don't know. You know, possibility for Jake's sure. gonna start hating on him pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> He's already eating the crab legs. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, okay. That's enough of the enough of Jameis Winston. Enough of the Winston right here. Yeah. <laughs> Should One, we talk a little NFL draft? Or little pe- NFL draft predictions. Speaking yeah. of the draft coming up uh, in six days here, next Thursday. I'm so excited. Big day. Very, very big day for Man. the NFL. And for us, Beaver fans, we got a lot to look forward to doing this. Any thoughts, guys? Number one pick, number two pick, Manzel. I I think it's it's probably gonna be a it's so clowny, hard to tell. Yeah. clowny, clowny. I mean, I think it should be Manzel just to kind of excite their fans, but mm-hmm. just the. I think Jacksonville will probably take Manzel. I don't know. I think he should go top ten. Who knows? At at, yeah. at least he gets people in the stands. He's gonna for sell a team tickets that, definitely. Yeah. Real question is: Will Will Houston? Do you think stay at number one, or do you think they might trade down? If they get like if they get like four four picks or five picks, then they should trade down. But if it's just like if it's like two picks or something, you know, Mm -hmm. because they they're a GM for one deal. Their GM came out and said like we're we know who we want at one, but if we don't if we don't do it, we're gonna trade down. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. That makes me think that they're. I think they're maybe they are looking at a quarterback at number one then. Yeah. I mean, unless they're going to trade down so they can get their quarterback, like, like I don't know, like a McCarron or Blake Bortles later. I don't even I don't even think quarterbacks – I don't know. Besides Johnny Football, I don't think any quarterback should go top ten, honestly. Like, Blake None? Bortles, he has a body, but, uh, you know. None so, top ten. So did Christian Ponder. And look how that turned yeah, out. Yeah. So, did, so did Ryan Ponder, Tannehill. Ponder, Blaine Gabbert. Yeah. It's like you can't just take somebody based on their looks or, like, I don't know. Quarterbacks are so risky, whereas, like, tackles, True. you True. Know, Mm-hmm. Or, true, like true, a, true. or like Khalil Mack, who's a freaking beast. Yeah. He might go on, too. Yeah. I think it's Mack or Clowney one, but. Yeah, I've heard that. I've heard the same thing, so we'll see. Clowney's a big beef man child, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pause. Whoa. <laughs> Swerve. Okay. <laughs> Get off my ship. Wait, what? Get off my ship? Yeah. We're not on a ship. Yeah, we're not. <laughs> I thought that said something else, but I I just went with it. I rolled it. (laughs) Fair enough. (laughs) All right. We're going to take a quick PSA break, and then we're going to come back, uh, talk a little Oregon State spring football, big game tomorrow, and maybe where we see uh, Brandon Cooks going in the draft. So stay tuned if you want some uh, beef action. This is Second String Sports, KBVR Corvallis. Stay tuned, and don't go away. Nurse, set up an IV. And you, her boyfriend, you were the driver? Yes, doctor, but... I didn't mean to hurt her. I only had a few drinks. I was just buzzed. Just buzzed? Oh, then your girlfriend is fine. Hey, sweetie. I feel great. She's really okay? What are you kidding? No, not really. Nurse, get me a suture kit. Stat. Buzzed driving. Maybe we should stop acting like it's no big deal. Buzzed driving is drunk driving. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Transportation and the Ad Council. Buzzed driving. It is a big deal. So... 
take heed. That that's a message from Second String Sports. Don't don't be a I don't know what's in that. Don't be a Jason kid. Don't be don't be sipping and swerving. <laughs> don't be taking that Ciroc to the head and then get behind the Cadillac. Okay. Take heed. Take heed. All right. True. Back to sports. That was that, that that was just a little tip in life. <laughs> yeah. That was just a little tip. Jake's life lesson. Yeah, you can never go wrong with Jake's life lesson. <laughs> Don't sip Ciroc and sort. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably and pretty safe. Uh, pretty safe advice right there. It is safe advice. I mean, it could save lives, save athletes' careers too. True. Yeah. True. And Dom can sue. So, <laughs> so Oregon State football. We got the spring game tomorrow at Oregon State. All, all the moms rolling through town. Mm-hmm. You guys, moms coming in. Yep. Yeah. I know ours are coming today. Uh, Grants is coming. Tomorrow. Tonight. Or tonight. tonight, I mean. Yep. So, yeah. We got the moms roaming through Corvette. It's going to be a pack, packed town this weekend. It's going to be crazy. I, it, you know what's funny is, like, all the moms go out and party with their sorority girls. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that just weird? Like, is, what would you do if you're day. a frat guy and you yeah. show up and there's, like, a mom and her daughter? I you agree. Know? Yeah, it is. It's a little It's a little odd. It's kind of like a buzzkill <laughs> kind of for frat guys. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I Definitely. mean, unless the moms are some... Nice moms. Oh my yeah. god. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see Jake. This is the only time of the year we'll see Jake on Greek Row. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Jake's, Jake's hunting hunting for some coog. <laughs> well, I don't even have a bike, uh, so what am I gonna ride? Uh, oh man. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. Well, oh man. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> I meant like going down to like if I wanted to Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Let's let's jump back. This is second string sports. If if you're just turning tuning in the car, we I swear we talk sports. Anyway, <laughs> sometimes, <laughs> sometimes, most yeah. of the time. It's so nice. who's gonna win the spring football game? I think it may. Uh, I think it may be Kentucky. I think it <laughs> might be OSU. <laughs> <laughs> I shocked you for a second. I was, th- I was thinking <laughs> Kentucky. Kentucky too. <laughs> yeah. Jake wants some KFC. Uh, uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> 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 yeah, that is Kentucky Fried Chicken. <laughs> but anyways, anyway, what are you guys looking forward to for the spring football game? game? I don't know. Last year was sort of like a it's spring gonna, practice. so Yeah, it was kind of weak last year. Yeah, I, have they yeah. said if they're changing it up I, this year? It's going to be the same thing, I think. I same saw uh, Steven Jackson's going to be there. Yeah. Beaver legend. He's co-hosting, whatever whatever that means. I don't know. That's He's sweet. spit some freestyle raps at halftime. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know, the festival cool. is pretty cool outside and, you know, they have... Steven Jackson, I'm sure he'll be out signing autographs. autographs. Yeah. I saw Brandon Cooks walking yesterday. Oh, sweet. So he's back in town? Yep. Sweet. Yeah, yep. I'm sure he'll make an appearance. You know, they'll probably pass out posters, some Qdoba gift card stuff. Yeah. I got jacked last year, I thought. I think I dropped all my Qdoba coupons. <laughs> Were they giving away free chips and you didn't get any or something like that? Well, it was one yeah, chip. something like yeah. that. But they ran out of, uh, no, they ran out of. Um, Queso? Yeah. So it was just a, it was just a chip. <laughs> That's just unfortunate. Thanks, Kudoba. What uh, what players to... we're looking forward to? Manion? I'm I'm looking forward to the who's Manion's going to connect with. Yeah, so my do- Bolden wide maybe. Receivers. Yeah, I think who do you, who do you guys think is going to be the premier wide receiver this year? We were talking about this earlier. Does it, is it for sure uh, Mulaney? Do you think it's Mulaney yeah. or Bolden? Mulaney. It's between them two. Or uh, Cummings too. Yeah, but he was kind of he was even average last year. I think it's going to wait. I think it's going to be Mulaney. Kevin's gone. He's gone? Yeah. Uh. He was a senior. Yeah, Kevin Cummings is gone. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So awkward. I think it's uh I think it's gonna be Mulaney. Just Mulaney. You think for sure? Yeah. But I think, I think Bolden there's gonna could be eventually Bolden you know, showed some more than the, really the USC good. game and the and the Civil War game. Yeah. He mm-hmm. had some great uh he can be a huge, I think, just slot receiver. Yeah, I think so too. Do you think there's gonna be any recruiting class, maybe a freshman red shirt who, you know, just didn't really get there? I really shot. want to see from Chris Brown. Oh, that's exactly what I was going to say. Chris Brown. Yeah. I've always liked Chris Brown. He yeah. always puts up numbers, too. And he just hasn't really gotten a chance yet. But I think that given the time. I know. Why don't exactly. they play him? Let's I don't all, get that. Yeah, let's all take a like, moment to recognize how, like, Teron Ward even did in the Civil War game. Like, where was that throughout the year? That's yeah. what that's what I want to know. Like, I love Storm and all, but. I think Storm will have mm. a bounce back year. I get, that's what I've been saying to a lot but, of people, you know, his sophomore, his hope so. freshman year. Yeah. He sees Brandon going pro, his roommate. He's like, man, I got to get there. Yeah. You know, I'm sure he has. Yep. I'm sure he's been working. You know, he's definitely got I the potential. So. We'll see. I, he he was kind of banged up last year. Or was that year before? Uh, I don't know. That he, was last year for part of it. Yeah. He yeah. was kind of banged up. So yeah, his freshman year is great, but 
sophomore year, you know, a little bit of a slump, but yeah, that's yeah. what that's what the off season's for. You can recover. Mm-hmm. You know, it's going to be next year is going to be an interesting year. We honestly have a pretty weak home schedule, so you know, I'm hoping home is going to be the big advantage next year. What do you oh, guys yeah. think? Yeah, definitely. yeah, almost a, almost every every single game I think at home is, is winnable. winnable. I know, I was and should be winnable. Looking mm-hmm. outside research, I'm like, well, we could win at least you know six. You're I peep- think six out of seven. Peeping up at the score. Peeping. <laughs> Walking to class, peeping. We definitely just got to take that first team seriously, Portland oh, yeah. State. We, let, can't, okay, we can't do the please. Eastern Washington yeah. thing again. No, please do not I mean, let Portland us Portland State's actually, like, decent. Yeah. If I was Mike Riley, well, I just got to say, well. remember last year, we can't do that again. Yeah. Decent with an asterisk. <laughs> yeah. Decent as in, you know. But, yeah. mm. They're trash. <laughs> We Whoa, should kill. We should. We should kill them. But straight to the point. We should, we should destroy them. <laughs> we should. We should. Yeah, we we should. very well but should. I hope we do. So is uh is the recruit is a transfer QB from Bama? Gonna, Luke Del Rio. Is he going to compete know. at all? He's eligible. Right. But I, I don't think there's I don't think any he's, possible he's not way competing. he's not competing. This is a year for him to just you know what this is going to be his sophomore year because he has three years of eligibility even right. though he's a junior. So this is just going to be his year to. Be taken under Mannion's wing, you know, get groomed by Riley a little bit, our new offensive coordinator, and then I think he's for sure starter next year. For sure. That's so impressive. Or, I mean, not I next year. So. I mean, next yeah. year is in yeah. when Sean yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Not, not yeah. Yeah, not I, think, I think he's uh, Sean's. Protege? Yep, protege. He's uh, the Meek Mill to Rick Ross. <laughs> you got a <laughs> yep. transfer from the best the Cole program in the country. Just yeah. think about that. It's yeah. pretty impressive. It is. Like, although their quarterback position is never that strong, like, AJ McCarron yeah. is still going to get drafted probably – Second round. Yeah. It's like... Who knows? He could sneak in first, but yeah, probably second round. They're... Mm-hmm. Alabama's all I'll about, take that all day. All about the conventionalism. <laughs> oh, yeah. Conventionalism, quarterbacks. Just game manager. But, you know, spring games should be interesting if I'm able to uh, catch a little bit of it, you know? Could be... Could show some excitement for next year. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're not really playing a game, but, you know, could see something. I'm excited for next year. Yeah. I'm too. I'm I mean, telling you. It's Chris one of those Brown. things where you don't... Yeah, exactly. Watch out. It's Watch one of out. those things where you can go in with, you know, after after the start of last year, you go in with not too high of expectations, but just, you know, sort of in the back of your mind, we got the got the young guy, see what they can do. Maybe have a little blazer year. And by that, I'm teasing what's coming up later in the show. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, speaking of Oregon State football, where's B. Cook's going? First round? Yeah, let's finish off this segment with that. Little Brandon Cook's predictions. First and round, and lock. Crichton, It's too. a lock. It's a lock. First round. We know that. Dude. No, it's a lock. Oh, man. Mm. I'm thinking later first round. So, uh, wide receiver would be Sammy Watkins first. And then uh, yeah. the guy from AM, Mike Evans. Uh, yeah. Yeah. He's he's a freaking beast. And then, so, Whoa. by that point, we'll, we'll probably be to like <laughs> mid round, at least like 15 to 20, you know? Yeah. Top two wide receivers. Yeah. I don't know. Are, do those do those late teams like are the Broncos I'm, or Seahawks or Niners? I'm, I'm, reach? I'm personally hoping Seahawks. he goes to my Niners. That would be that's been a, it's awesome. Been, Plus, he's a Niner fan growing up. They need they need a slot guy like that. A speed type. Yeah, we speed. have those big Anquan Bolden, Michael yeah. Crabtree oh, types, yeah. and we definitely need someone like a Brandon Cooks to from all finish the, that off. From all the pre-draft stuff that I've seen, you know, it's been 49ers. He would fit in great there. And then I've seen a, I've actually seen a lot about the Chiefs. Hmm. From our, you know, our missing co-host today, Logan McGinnis. I, yeah. He's roaming the beach, probably playing with some seashells and covering himself in sand and <laughs> eating <laughs> clam chowder or something like that. Yeah. Crustaceans. Sc- screw your chief, Logan. I hope he doesn't go there. <laughs> Just kidding. It, I think he would fit in there, but. Would you buy a Chiefs jersey if he goes there? Mm-hmm. No. Probably not. I wouldn't. I will be the first one to buy a Brandon Cooks Niner jersey, though, oh, if, he, yeah. if that happens. Yeah. Niners or Seahawks, I'm buying a jersey. Or Ravens. Before it's even released, I'll just have it customized. You could just make one now. <laughs> yep, yeah, exactly. You could Cooks. just cop a 49ers jersey now. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. It's it's going to be exciting. Tune everyone and every, every NFL fan, tune in next Thursday. Man. NFL drafts is always fun. So excited. For so sure. pumped. Well, we're going to take a second PSA break of the show, and when we come back, would you think talk a little uh, NBA playoffs? Oh, yeah. Yes, I'm sir. ready. So uh, stay tuned. If you want to hit us up on Twitter, I'm at jmcrady7. At Rockets Flop. <laughs> 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 got to plug it. I got to plug it. And then we got our guest. Plug your guest. Uh, at Aldridge MVP. So tweet us any, 
all, <laughs> all the Blazer fans out there, if you're tuning in right now, tweet Aldridge MVP or hit us up. Any uh, any Blazer predictions for the game six tonight or any uh, any NBA playoff predictions at all tonight? We want to sort of live chat, you know. Hit us up with the hashtag second string sports. We'll get to as many people as possible. And yeah, stay tuned. Some NBA coming up. National basketball. It's all good. Association. Gucci. <laughs> you might think indoor tanning is safe. Yet UV light from indoor tanning can cause premature aging, including wrinkles, sagging, and age spots. Even worse, UV light increases your risk of skin cancer, including melanoma, the deadliest form of skin cancer. In fact, one person dies from melanoma about every hour. Don't be one of them. Indoor tanning is out. A message from the American Academy of Dermatology. For more information, visit aad.org. And we're back live, KBVR Corvallis, 88.7 FM. You're listening to Second String Sports, the best sports talk radio show in all of the world. <laughs> Screw you, Skip Bayless. <laughs> Taking shots. Your idol. Yeah, he is my idol. I watch that show a lot. <laughs> 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 Moving on into the NBA playoffs, the highlight of the show, the golden, the golden discussion, the, the Grammy of all sports okay i don't know <laughs> nba playoffs what do you guys think what series should we start with should we go east get the get the well, boring stuff out of the way east schmeast mm -hmm. so pacers have flopped <laughs> roy hibbert is is That's what roy, has roy hibbert even been playing? I think he uh, last yeah, night had a nice cool. two rebounds, and I think that was his only stat of the game besides four fouls. The total so. has been what? I zero. think his total has been two rebounds, eight fouls, and zero points. Jeez. That is, he was an all-star. That's one of the worst He was an all-star over Anthony Davis, which is sickening. I just don't get how you... Uh, last year in the playoffs, too, that was his breakout time, and just uh, I don't know how he just... Just lost all confidence, so, you know, I guess? Uh, yeah. Must be it. I don't mm. know. It's and, weird. And well, I think uh, trading away Granger hurt them because he was like a good locker room guy, you know. Mm -hmm. And now like Lance and Lance Stevenson and Evan Turner are fighting, and Turner's playing like crap off the bench, and you know, it's just their team's falling apart. If they lose first round, do you think Vogel's gone? I don't know. It. He's still a really good coach. It, I could see it. I mean, I could see it. Larry Bird looks I mean, so upset every single game. Oh, Larry Bird's on the verge of just, like, kicking him in front of a car until he dies. I think it's definitely a possibility. If they lose Game 7, yeah. I think Frank Vogel's I mean, look gone. At, look There's no way. Happens. They obviously don't respect him anymore. No, no, the fans go at the throats of... I mean, even Scott Brooks, there was discussions of, oh, is he going to be in Oklahoma City next year? Yeah. I don't know. Pacers. I don't know. Pacers. It got a little feisty last game. Do you guys see the little... Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, and speaking of Pacers, Paul George could get suspended. For going on the court, yeah. game seven, isn't that crazy? Like, he, wow! But they were saying on on Sports Center that he wasn't trying to like you know, like increase is it, is the fight. The, basically, is it so. the what is the rule? Isn't it? It's, if the, you it's step the Amari off the rule, bench. right? So yeah, yeah. If you step up the, onto the court, but and then suspended. I saw a bunch of pictures that said you know if Paul George gets suspended, look at and is off in the distance. Half the Atlanta Hawks bench was oh. also on the court, so it's like. What are you going to um, do? Okay, that one time was Amari trying to go fight. I think fight. it's such a dumb rule. Was I he... think that also, though, I think a lot of that blame has to go on the coaches. Yeah. The assistant coaches are supposed to be there holding them back and making well, sure that they don't. And they, like, emphasize it because they, like, pushed him back, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't know if people would have really noticed, but they, like, they realized it too late. And then they, like, try to, like, shove him off. But, mm -hmm. yeah. And then uh, another series in the in the East that... You know, the Heat swept them, which once Al Jefferson went out, the Bobcats had no no chance. Yeah. Let's be honest. Um, they almost had no uh, chance from the start, but especially yeah. the... Yeah. Sorry, and I just showed him a crab leg meme of uh, James Winston. Jake's trolling. <laughs> I'm trolling in the booth. Anyway, yeah, no one so. expected... Everyone had, you know, predicted sweep, so... Yep. I don't, that wasn't surprising to anybody. You going for the Hawks game seven? I really hope so, but... That would just because awesome. it makes, you know... There's Anything a, to make the road easier for the Blazers, honestly. Exactly. There was a there's a potential six game sevens in the first round of the playoffs. I mean, let's hope it doesn't happen with the Blazers, but that's just insane. I know. What do you guys think? This for me at least, this NBA. I mean, granted, you know, Blazers because the Blazers are in it, but even that aside, these playoffs have been some of the most entertaining, most competitive, at least on the West side, most competitive playoffs I can remember in the yeah. last like five years. Oh, definitely. 
They've been great. We just got perfect matchups. Like Warriors, Clippers, two teams that hate each other. Rockets, you know, Blazers, same and thing. And, the and they're even too. It's not like it's any mismatches like the East. That they're game all... seven, that Clippers game seven is going to be crazy. man. That... I don't, I don't think Golden State's going to be able to do it, but especially in LA, but. It's going to be crazy. They're, it's going to be a tough one. It, it could go either way, I think. Yeah. I'm still picking L.A. on that one. Yeah. I'm going with the Clippers, too, probably. But meanwhile, yeah, LeBron's just chilling back, waiting for a— uh, Yeah, man. I hate that. They, it should be top top 16 teams in the league overall. Hey, it might be next no. year. We'll it see. could be. I who really knows? Hope I'm hoping so. Silver's about to throw his—you know, just throw down, and who knows what old Silver's going to do. Suns were better than— Oh, yeah. yeah. I think they would have been third seed in the East or whatever, Seriously. and it's— it's just sad that they missed the playoffs because of that. Yeah. But uh, very sad. Wizards have been fun to watch. Wizards. Too. Okay, let mm-hmm. if anyone else is listening out there uh, who's a consistent listener, if you remember two weeks ago, I predicted the Wizards. I just like to point that out. I I, I call them even going to to the Eastern Conference Finals. So. Yeah, Bulls had no chance in that one without <laughs> without my main man D Rose. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think D Rose is up to right now? D Rose is chilling, hanging out with Chief Keef. Oh. <laughs> In Chirac? <laughs> yeah. No. I don't know. He's probably rehabbing. <laughs> rehabbing again. No, he's probably reading a book and helping some children. <laughs> Making the return With part Chief two. With Oh. When Isn't it like going to be like part three now? Part two. Well, he came back and then got injured again. So I guess like it would be part, part three. three. The return part three. What happened to the second one? He came back for like two weeks and then got uh, injured again. Oh. Oh. I see what you're saying. <laughs> Do you remember that? Yeah. <laughs> See, they all blend. Uh, Grant's having an, epi- uh, an epiphany. <laughs> <sighs> just, man. Anyway. Disappointing, but anyways. Now, we're leaving the last portion of the show to uh, the best possible topic we have. The reason why we have a guest in the studio, Aldridge MVP. Let's go oh, some yeah. Portland Trailblazer discussions. Game six in Portland. RIP Dr. Jack. Just want to throw that out there. What do you guys think? Game six, big one. Scary, Must nervous, win. excited. All the above. Queasy, oh. scurred. All the above. All of the above. You know what? Mixed emotions. So I went to game three, right? And like, obviously that yeah. was when we Both lost. Both of you guys, we got yep. two oh, game, yeah. three, I game three yeah, attendance in the booth, and I was just, you know, at home eating little Caesars. Yeah, I forgot about <laughs> that. But, um, hey, screw you guys. Didn't you kind of notice, like, well, obviously Aldridge had a bad first half, but like, they felt more pressure at home, right? Like, You think so? Did it feel I mean, like I can feel with all. I think they were all just hyped up from yeah. being back at home. I don't know how much pressure they actually had because they had won the first two games. Mm-hmm. I think it was more just come out, came out way too uh, hyped yeah. up. We just got to feed but Aldridge the rock. I yeah. think he's gonna have a big bounce back game. What you do don't you, you don't go from averaging you don't forty four from, points oh, to no, eight. I mean, that, you're gonna have a bad game eventually. But yeah, is that is that what you guys thought last night or not last night? Two nights ago was game five. You know, I don't know. I kind of felt like. You the know, energy was down. The whole time, we're just like, let's just go back to Portland, you know? Yeah. I felt, yeah, I felt like at halftime, we're like, all right, let's and just... And Stotts pulled them with a minute left, which is a lot of time for, in the playoffs. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. It's almost just like, all right, let's just get this in front of our home crowd. Yeah. You know, pulled the plug early. It, hey, if you it know, works, it'll be perfect. But exactly. It was one of the first games that James Soften turned into James Harden. Yeah. Yep. Well, <laughs> so, if this... Pause. if I don't want to talk about this really too much, but if it goes back to game seven, what's nope. what are your thoughts? I don't want to think about that, but it's that, be gonna tough. be it's gonna be bad. Think think we'll lose them? if if we have if we have two we consecutive losses and then go back to I think Houston for Game Seven. Yeah, I'm not saying that this team has any quit, but it's now oh, or never. Not, not at all. It'll it would be a fight, but I so honest, much I honestly think it would be yep. momentum loss. Rockets, they're clutch city. It's not clutch city. I, no, I'm not calling them a clutch city. I'm just saying, you know, they've never been clutch in their freaking lives. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, definitely. I think tonight's a must win. Must in win. my opinion, must yeah. win. I think we're just going to be hyped. Off. I can't I, wait. I'm pr- I'm almost positive they're probably going to do a very, very elaborate Doctor uh, Jack Ramsey probably tribute it before Ooh. the game or at halftime intro with Doctor Jack. Get the so crowd nice. just feeling that were... electricity. Did you guys see that the they laid out the towels on the seats in the form of the red and white that said yeah. "We are Rip City" in the seats? That was oh, really cool. It's tight. It's yeah. we're finally doing some coordinated. That's sweet. You know, Paul Allen, you got a you got a billion. Well then, and then he had the hologram things. That yeah, was, I saw the those. pictures. You guys, those LED like clapper things, those yeah. looked amazing. Those yeah. were really cool. That was too looks... bad they didn't just like turn off the lights mid game. Just be like, <laughs> <laughs> it was like one of the best intros I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah it was insanely loud in there, and it's only going to be louder tonight. My head was hurting like the next morning. Like I felt yeah. like I was hungover. Mm-hmm. For yeah. <laughs> 
yep. cheering over. Yep. Cheering yeah, that blazer turn hungover yeah. action. Felt like you were sipping the blazer. I seriously blazer did, like, liquor. I I couldn't even sleep, and then I was like <laughs> till like one or two, and then when I did wake up, like you I just had turned in your bed, just like God. I was just like, yeah, Blazers. I can't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, ex- I'm so excited. We were the bad luck I'm charms, though. We'll take excited. the blame for that one. Yeah. You guys hey, can't... we're not going tonight, though. We'll just be watching, so. You can never go to another playoff game again? I'm uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. No. Just kidding. No. It was probably just, actually, it was because, yeah, dang it. I didn't sit in my, in my specific chair that one game. Jake, come on. Come wow. On, okay, I'll sit there tonight. Okay, we're good. We won. I'm sitting in the same chair tonight. Every yeah. game that we've won, I've sat in the same, like, circular chair, and I just happened to sit in the recliner that, light, that <laughs> night. Man, threw it off. It's just dawning yeah, on. Yeah, come me. on, it's now. on you. I'm sorry. Hey, maybe your little LED thing was bad luck last night, or did you not turn it on? I didn't turn it on. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell Grant. Wow, um, never mind. It, it midway through the third quarter, I turned on my little LED light thing, you know, that they yeah. gave us, and that's when we went on a big run and came back. So from shame, okay, from you gotta yeah. tip off. I'm turning it on. Do it. Wow, definitely. I'm so pumped. I just hope we don't come out too hyped and too nervous. I think we just we just need to play how we've done all year. But how how much did Wesley impress you guys last game too? Game well, five? his defense has impressed me all series. Man. It's impressed, incredible. Impressed me. It's getting it's getting chippy. Most though. underrated performance of the, everybody's like, oh yeah, James Harden is shooting so bad. Like they're not giving they're not giving Wesley any credit. Yeah, no, not at all. It's like. Yeah, he's the, he's the sole reason why James Harden is. He's one of the most season. tenacious defenders that gets. <laughs> completely he was on swept over by any in a uh, game four he was on Dwight and Dwight yep. was like back, like in the final minute and then he got the steal too yep. like do you think you think Harden's coming out tonight with another or do you think he's gonna go back to his old ways via nah, he's not gonna have a good game tonight I don't think so who do you think's there I well Dwight's, Dwight Dwight's always good <clears throat> Parsons again Parsons probably Beverly will come out hyped up Parsons is a key male yeah. fruit model fruit boy <laughs> Can't stand Patrick Beverly. Somalian pirate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the captain now. I'm not afraid to say it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Grant just dissed Pe- Bev on radio. Yeah, Bev, come down here before game. Come. Would you fight yeah. Beverly if he walked up to you on the street? No. Would you? Uh. If you had a knife? I did. Uh, no, I wouldn't fight him with my fist. If nah. he had a fist, so why would I fight him if he had no, a fist? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought you had a knife. Okay. Why not? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. Did you fight Dwight? No. No. You Even push? with a knife, Dwight would just take it. And yeah. <laughs> Dwight would eat. You'd probably, like, try to put it in his arm. In his and shoulder. Just, just, like, like break uh, it. Would go in, like, a little bit, and he'd just, like, like flex, and it would pop out. Uh-huh. <laughs> God. <laughs> go Blazers. <laughs> oh, Rip go City, Blazers, baby. For sure. Uh, Gotta get this win. Seven thirty. What's score predictions? Yeah, let's go score predictions. Ooh. Score prediction. OT maybe over a hundred. I don't know. I think so. I think it's over a hundred. Oh, I think it has to be over a hundred. One oh eight. One oh four. I was gonna go uh, one ten. One oh three. Blazers. Ooh. Wow. No, I'm bl- feeling that. I no, think. I think Aldridge has wire. around thirty points. Yeah. Ten rebounds. Yeah, I think he has to have thirty at least. Definitely. I think he might have. I'm gonna say 34. Throwback to the game one, game two, Aldridge MVP he, he has mm-hmm. performances. Hey, he'll yeah, bounce he back. To. He's gonna come out aggressive. Yeah. I know that. Yep. What about Damien though? Is he gonna? I think he'll have a 20 Damien, plus night. Damien's, Damien's been feel solid. pressure. He he doesn't. No. It's weird. It's it's like a. And it's like Kobe weird, status. Yeah, it's like a weird psyche thing. He it's just weird doesn't and care. awesome. At the same time. Yeah, I know. It, it's like a supernatural like, just thing. Mm-hmm. Y- even if he does, he doesn't show it. So yeah, not at yeah, all. I don't think he does. He doesn't show any emotions on the court, which is perfect. Yep, Mo does. <laughs> yeah, Mo. Like <laughs> we yeah. want to talk about. I kind of think Mo almost lost us that game, honestly, because he was like think antagonizing them before, during. He pumped him. I'll, I'll admit, he pumped him up. Like, yeah. He what knows. do you think he said to? If we want to, if we want to talk about another topic on the show, his name's Troy Daniels, the D League piece of. I can't say it on radio, but <laughs> Troy Daniels. You probably fill it in. I, I could probably fill it in. Ah, I'm so happy! I can't even feel my Wait. arms. Wait, <laughs> wrong uh, soundbite there. But uh, <laughs> nah, I'm gonna do that. But yeah, he's from the D League. Just sharpshooter, made the game-winning three in game three. <laughs> he's er, only played like five NBA game games three? in his career. Rookie. Yeah. Yeah, he made the game winner. Yeah, game in, yeah it was game three. 
Yep. You know, who um, knows? I, you can tell he's got a little swagger to his stuff. Oh, yeah. I think he's someone I definitely like if he wasn't playing the Blazers. Oh, yeah, I agree. Just yeah. up from the D League, comes totally, in and makes. Yeah. I would embrace the hell out of him. I would embrace the story. I would, we'd be talking Man. about the story in a total different way if it wasn't yeah. against, you know, if he yep. was like for the Wizards or something. But, but yeah, him and Mo got into a little altercation and then you know, Mo came out, said he was messing with him. And we had won the game and, you know, I was confused. They were almost to the locker room. That was game four, end of game four. Yeah. End of game four, Mo just kind of came in and chest bumped him, said something to him. Harden came in and pushed him and then. And during the game, Mo was talking to. During the game, Mo was talking, and pretty much every single Houston Rocket was out for Mo. You saw Harden, kind of, yeah. Harden had that one foul where you just f- threw him like a rag doll, and then Parsons screaming in his face like a little. That was that was the weirdest mm-hmm. thing I've ever seen. It like, was. I've never seen an NBA player do that to another player. Mo I was liked, unfazed. Yeah, I liked how he had yeah. no emotion towards yeah. that. You just got to ignore it. Yeah, I know. know. <laughs> Check it out on Vine. But, Granted, yep. Vine of it is pretty funny. Yep. Yeah. Chandler Parsons seems like the type of kid on the on the playground that like if someone like threw a dodgeball at his face, he would like cry about it and then like try to fight, but his friends would hold him back and then you just like <laughs> go yeah. in the bathroom and call his mom. Yeah. And eat a fruit roll I or see something. It. And Dwight's a bully that got held back like five years. <laughs> the what? <laughs> the like stupid bully who got held back like five years. Just bigger than everybody else. That's the only reason why he's a bully. I swear I'm smart. <laughs> <laughs> Could you beat Dwight in a smart off? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I think we all could. Yeah. I think anybody at OSU could. What did Patrick Beverly come from then if he was a kid? No, I'm sure I think Beverly's actually pretty smart. That's why he does all that stuff. Oh, yeah. He yeah. messes yeah. with people. James Harden just you know Harden's isn't, just he isn't smart boo. enough to <laughs> he isn't smart enough to fix his teeth and go to an orthodontist, so <laughs> does his teeth make him look so like his teeth are disgusting. Stupid. Yeah. I would rather I would rather uh, <laughs> I don't what would you rather do, Jim? <laughs> I'd rather like kiss a hobo than like. <laughs> than what? <laughs> he, is, he is a hobo. <laughs> than have James Harden's teeth. Uh, well, there's plenty in our apartment complex dumpster. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> it's true. I see him. Shouts out Oak Apartment Dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> they make daily, hourly rounds uh, for the king. You ever talk to him? Yeah, one guy. One of uh, one of them talked to me about a freaking. OSU softball game. He's like, is that is that the Civil War over there, man? He's like, I'm like, uh, yeah. He's like, that's cool. <laughs> Maybe we should have him on as a guest. No, oh, man. He's stealing all my diet snapples. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Granted, they're empty, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do with them? Yeah. Give him some money, I guess. Uh, you big diet snapple sipper? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you big Dr. Pepper sipper? <laughs> yeah. Diet Dr. Pepper and Diet Coke. <laughs> Diet Pepsi. <laughs> All right, should we take a PSA break? We're going to take yeah. a quick PSA break, and uh, Grant's going to have a, maybe a few more minutes here and finish off the show with uh I think I got to take off final. now. Oh, taking off now? Yep, I got to. Want to give your final sign off? Yep. Yep, uh, thanks for having me on. Yeah, uh, no problem. Hope to do this again. Personal uh, and... Uh, yeah, one and last Blazer Twitter accounts. Yeah, Shout personal out your Twitter one more time to all our listeners out personal there. Personal OG underscore Ocampo. <laughs> and OG. Yeah, <laughs> the and, <king>. uh, <laughs> and the Blazer account at Aldridge MVP. Definitely follow that. Yep. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to tonight. Go Blazers. Yeah, big game tonight. Go Definitely. Blazers. Rip City. Oh, yeah. Hit him up on uh, social media. Yeah. Yeah. He'll be back on the show later, but yeah. Stay tuned. Pick quick PSA break. Finish off the show. Some strange, uh, strange sports topics going on in the world. This is Second String Sports, eighty-eight point seven FM. Hey, you look a little stressed out. Everything okay? I felt like I spent all my money on books again. I have to pick between books or food. Pause. Pause. Fact. The USDA defines food insecurity as having reduced quality, variety, or desirability of diet to multiple indications of disrupted eating patterns and reduced food intake. Fact. The percent of college students experiencing food insecurity can reach up to 59% at some Oregon universities. Fact. The Human Services Resource Center offers bi-weekly food pantries to help subsidize the cost of food for students and community members. If you're interested in learning more, come visit us 9 to 5, Monday through Friday, in Snell 233. See you at the HSRC. And then there were two in the studio. The dynamic duo, Tupac and Dr. Dre. <laughs> or, wait, no. Tupac Snoop Dogg. Snoop oh, Dogg and Dr. Dre. Well, Tupac and Biggie would have shot each other. So. Yeah, that's true. You know, now that uh, 
now that uh, Logan's not here, there's no one to stop us from uh, ragging on the Spurs. So, I just realized we haven't talked about the Spurs series. Finish off the Spurs, gonna, Mavs. If you're just now tuning in, we're going to finish off the show with some uh, playoff MVP discussions, or se- season MVP, rather. Some uh, last-minute playoff discussions, and yeah, it's an all NBA all the time on Second String Sports. So, Spurs Spurs series finish up, up tonight, right? Isn't it three two? Oh yeah, it's three two Spurs, Spurs in, in, Dallas. in Dallas tonight. So, do you, do you think Dallas is going to force that game seven? Mm, man, Dallas actually has a pretty pretty energetic. I've, fan I've been base. impressed. Their think, fan base rivals Portland's. I think they can pull it off. I I mean, Mark I Cuban's courtside, you know, screaming his butt off, you know, passionate as ever. Yeah, I. I think uh, I think Dallas is gonna pull it off, but ultimately not win the series. I don't. Yeah. You know, really? I, you think? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Spurs yeah. game seven. You know. I mean, they're both veteran teams, but at the same time, I agree. Spurs are just too much talent, too much, too much off the bench to compete with Dallas. Um, but so that sets us up next series for Spurs Blazers, which you know hasn't. Has proven to be a pretty good rivalry over the Spurs, years. Spurs Blazers. This year, I mean, I've been I've been impressed with how the Blazers, Blazers have, have held their year. own. Let's be honest. Like you know, Spurs were top three team all year, and Blazers definitely held their own. I th- wasn't it. Uh, what was the season series? Three one. Three one. Like, and the one game that we lost which, them hardly was even a real game because West or like yeah, all of our starters were out, and all, all of San Antonio's starters were out. So it was just a bench game. But and Patty Mills. Yeah, I remember that. But I think Patty you know, Mills went off. If if we play the Spurs, I think we could win. I think we could win in six. You know, that's that's going to be kind of the norm for the Blazers playoffs. I think every game is going to be close, regardless of who we're playing. I mean, you exactly. saw against the Heat. Granted, LeBron wasn't in, but you know, I still think uh, you know Blazers Spurs matchup. Blazers going to pull it out. And what else? What else? Uh, what other series do we have? Oh, a little MVP. A little MVP. So, uh, I, I think it's a no discussion, but right now think- Aldridge is number one, James is two, and Nene is three on ESPN.com. Do you agree? I think it's no discussion, Aldridge. Yeah. Hand I- hands down. I mean, granted, you know, la- game one, ni- two, and four. Two yeah. nights ago was a little bump in the road, but who who puts up forty and forty six or forty three and forty six? Nobody besides MJ, pretty much. Yeah. For yeah. for being honest, it was like a it was a dream. I. I, was, I hardly knew what was going on. LaMarcus impressed me more than, you know, he came into his own last night. Oh, yeah, I totally. Mean, he has said before that, you know, the things that he's uh, had problems with in Portland was that he never really felt the love. From felt the like it was his team, right? He too. felt like he was always secondary. Yeah. And now I, I, there's no question. Now it, everybody's just like. Team. He is the leader. He's the, rallying around him. He's yeah. the all-star. You know, he's got all this love. I mean, look at Grant. He has an, an Aldridge MVP Twitter that With has. 1,500 followers. 1,500 followers of just people dedicated to LaMarcus alone. So that, yeah. that shows you something. His, oh, his yeah. love from Portland has gone up. And it's, it's well-deserved. I mean, this yeah. year has been. By he, far his best year. Yeah, before he went out with a back injury, he was top three in MVP discussion. You know, right? No Some people doubt. had him above, no doubt. above KD. For Some people had him above KD. Or, you know? Yeah, but uh, but you know, LeBron's had a his typical LeBron playoffs putting up numbers. Nay, typical nay, LeBron. Nay, nay, though, it's come out of nowhere. Do that, nay, nay. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> nay nay turn up. Nay nay. We just nay nayed in the stew stew. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the the wizards have impressed me. Oh you know, yeah. Nay nay's got that vicious fire. Can you imagine head button little Taj Gibson? John Wall and Bradley Beal as a combo. Mm. Oh my gosh. In Ooh. like three or four years. Loudy. Wow. I'm loving it. Yeah. I'm a I'm a little wizards. Hop on wizards the bandwagon right now. Yeah, I'm with it. Yeah, they've they've been impressing me. Oh yeah, definitely. But uh, any other random topics, Jake? Any any non-sporting? How was your week? My Had week's week? been yeah. We can finish off with just some general talk. My week's been a uh, very yeah. interesting. You know, no, this week has been a down week. You know, I had my midterms last week, and then I got two more midterms next week. But you know, let's talk about the let's talk about the weather for a minute. Oh, well, can incredible. we just get a, can we just get a quick a uh, quick round of applause for uh, Oregon Oregon Corvallis weather Mother Nature? Please. Hit it. Don't act like you're not impressed. Because we are. Yeah, we are. It's been what? Yesterday like was... 80s. Yesterday was 86. Sunny. The day before was like 82. It's just been sunny, you know. Literally the perfect I mean, weather. for anyone listening right now in Corvallis, you know, it, it's pretty cloudy right now. It's, it's, it's still really it's warm. Muggy. It's very muggy yeah. and warm. 
you know, unfortunately, tomorrow, uh, don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but the rain is supposed to hit. No. For the spring game and for Mother's Weekend. So, Man. you know, classic, cool. classic Mother Nature always teasing us. Yeah, yeah, right during my midterms week is when the 80-degree exactly. weather comes in. <laughs> yeah, you stuck inside and oh, yeah. all, the, all the weather, and then you're finally done with midterms, yeah, and it's econ, the weekend, and it's like, oh, rain. Yeah, econ, How many midterms stat, did you have this week? Econ midterm, stats midterm, and two quizzes. Were there any of them during a Blazer game? No, but the econ one was uh, the day after the Blazer game. That's what I was saying. I feel bad for the, because there's like several kids I saw tweet that, you know, Wednesday. I couldn't even watch game five. Wednesday night, yeah. I was so busy. I watched like the fourth quarter. Like uh, the f- you, you didn't miss much. Yeah. It is. I, I kind of figured, you know. I mean, it is why we lost because you didn't watch. But Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> it's it's the LED lighting. Well, it is. And Jake not sitting in his chair. It is. You know, it's going to be the perfect combo for tonight. I think so. Perfect, the perfect storm. Maybe we'll have to combine the two, and I'll bring the LED lights over. Do it. We're doing it. Ooh. Oh yeah, yeah. We're gonna have a blazer party tonight. Cause if you're if you're not excited for the game tonight, you're not you're not an Oregonian. I'm just I'm just being frank with it. You know. Yep. You don't even have to be a basketball fan to just to appreciate yeah. appreciate the Rip City just culture and blazer in. fandom. Even you know, shouts out Mama McGrady, my mom Andrea, who's who's coming down tomorrow. She you know, she's a basketball fan uh, actually. She's tuned in. She's a supporter. You know, she she always watched me. She's a casual. Me, me and my brother's basketball games as a kid. Granted, yeah. you know, there's a, there's some there's some rules she doesn't understand, but she sat <laughs> down and watched the entire, pretty much every single entire Blazer game, which wow. I I'm blown away by. Congrats to all the people out there who don't even know that much about basketball, but are just supporting the Blazers. Yeah, I mean, it's more about the city than anything. It's more about rallying behind a go- good group of players. Just a good group of players. Good yeah. culture. I mean, it's a Finally. Cinderella story. Seriously. Yeah. If we want to give one last shout out too to uh, Mike and Mike, our announcers, because I don't know if you guys out there know this, but local TV only covers the first round of the playoffs, unfortunately. That sucks. <laughs> so from here on out in the playoffs, we're going to have to listen to the Blazers on TNT and ESPN, which I'm not too pleased about because the I don't TN- even get TNT. Oh, geez. So uh, you'll be coming over. I'll be on the struggle bus there. Hey, TNT announcers just are boring. They're so like. So subjective. It's just, just it's yeah. like they don't care about either team almost. Yeah, it's just like they just want to say what they want yep. to say. Yep. Well, that's pretty much all we got for you guys today. Any uh, second string listeners out there? We just want to remind you this is a KBVR Corvallis 88.7 FM, damn good radio. And by damn, I mean Beaver Dam because we are from Oregon State. I have to say that every show. We are on an award winning station too. I, I always like to plug that. So you're listening to Second String Sports, the uh, best sports talk show in all the land. We talk sports because we're not good enough to go pro. Well, at least Logan isn't. Maybe me and Grant could. But. Oh, yeah. But hit us up on uh, Twitter in the off season. you know. I'm sure we'll be live tweeting the Blazer game tonight if anyone wants to hop in and have a little uh, little sports debate with us. I'm at jmcgrady7. At gvd35 and at Rockets Flop. <laughs> and if, you, eh, if you're shouting out our alternate accounts. If, uh, oh, yeah. Shout them out, Jake. If you want to. Top on the other uh, Blazer uh, account. Follow you. Hey, you might already follow it out there. Mister underscore Portland. I tweet a lot of you know pictures and I rip into players and uh, you know call out James Harden on Twitter. So good stuff. And tweet of us. Of course, uh, follow our other host OG yeah. Campo and Aldridge MVP. Aldridge MVP. Hit him up. Live tweet. You know, if you ever want to live tweet during sporting events, just hit us with the hashtag Second String Sports. I'm sure if we look up that hashtag, you'll be one of the only people using it. Oh yeah. You know, if you if you're cruising, listening to us right now in your car, you know, driving to work, don't tweet because we do not condone using your phone and driving because it's illegal. You know, have a good Friday night. Have a good Friday Take night. Take it easy. Watch, Watch the, the Blazer game. game. Enjoy yourself. If Channel you're Channel Eight or Fifty Four. Yeah. If you're a student, you know, have fun with your moms. Enjoy the company. Thank them for all they do for you. You know, who knows what the weather will be like, but just enjoy the weekend. I'm excited. Yes, sir. So, happy Friday. Uh, Go Blazers. Peace. Second string sports. Stay prosperous. Yeah, live your life. Go Blazers. We out.